Hello, I'm Nige. And I'm Anders with a scratchy face. Uh, welcome to the Grain Brew. Uh, funnily enough, it's Nige who's done the Grain Brew. So yes. Let me hand over to him and you can tell, tell, you can tell me and our viewers exactly what we're doing. It's a porter. Yeah. Now, I never used to like porters, but when Anders and I we started our beer odyssey, couple of years ago we've been stretching ourselves and we've we've tried other things and i'm starting to like the darker beers more than the lighter beers can't get enough now i'd say about 50 percent of the porters i try in pubs and things are horrible but the other ones i have i try are divine there doesn't seem to be a middle ground with porters so i thought i've been getting more and more obsessed with the darker beers the stouts and the porters and i thought i'm going to brew one and I took it from David Heath uh, on his yeah. YouTube channel. Yeah. He's, if you're new to home brewing or even well into home brewing, check out his channel. There's nothing you can't learn from that, man. No. What? And he's got guides to different types of beers. Uh, yeah. Guys. So I'll give you an idea of what you should be putting into each recipe. Yeah. Now, the recipe I used was his recipe. Mm-hmm. And it's one beer. People have used it all over the world and won beer competitions with it, beer tasting competitions. Okay. Uh, the only thing I changed in this, I upped the ABV. Okay. Uh, so what was the original ABV? On about here? four and a half, I think, or something like that. Okay. And um, mine's, mine's come out at 5.4%. Okay. I was aiming for something a bit higher, but... It works. I don't think I'd change a thing if I brewed this again. I really do like it. Okay. But shall we get it into the glass? Because I'm really looking forward to drinking this again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bear, bear with me. Um, let's let's get beer cam up and running. Now, when you pour it, yeah. Once you've got about an inch in the at the bottom of the glass, pour it directly in the middle. You're going to get give hit it a little bit. Of, it's okay, not hugely right. carbonated. Okay. Well, just to give, just to get that head going, it will stay, but it just needs a okay. bit of a helping hand. We'll okay, so it's up and running. Beer cam that is. Here we go. Oh, the aroma coming off it is absolutely gorgeous. I'm getting chocolate. Yep. Chocolate in the in the bucket loads. Yeah. And the head's gone a little bit crazy for me. It's all right, it'll settle down. There we go. We've said this a hundred times. Does anything more can you get much more sexy with a pint than that? <laughs> I mean, look at it. That is the. No, I was going to say something rude. I won't do. I won't. I won't. <coughs> right. Yeah. Immediately, I'm hit by the aroma. The aroma. I don't get much is... of the aroma. That's because I'm just on the back end of a cold. So. Yeah, but I'm getting plenty of plenty chocolate. of chocolate. I'm getting a bit of coffee. Yeah. Um, actually, the more I think about it, the more coffee is gone. Uh, Smell-wise, it reminds me, we did a very strong porter that I bought in London for you. Oh, it reminds God. me of that. I forget what it's called. I mean... ABV is way way different on that. Yeah, the aroma is very similar. Anyway, going in. Yeah, you can't wait, can you? No. <laughs> Cheers. Chin chin. Oh, the first thing that really hits you. It's the texture and the smoothness. 
Yeah, really. It's absolutely. Silk and smooth. It is. Oh, oh. that's beautiful. Yeah. And actually, this wasn't a hundred percent like David Heath's recipe. I had to make some alterations. I didn't have any uh, chocolate malt, so I used pale chocolate malt. Okay. And I put some black malt in as well, just a tiny bit, just to get the coloration right. Okay. But that was the only thing slight, slight different. I'm, I'm, yeah. I mean, I don't want to. That's the smell was initially of coffee, but it, uh, sorry, I know. Coffee, but the coffee's really coming through. Yeah, no. I don't like coffee, but I just mm. pretend it's chocolate and it works really well. And there's something else in there as well. I can't put my finger on it. So this beer is designed for the fireside. Yeah. You've got um, your, your nice wing back chair. You sat there, roaring fire going. You yeah. sat there, your slippers on. I think you just this that's what it's designed for, this beer. Yeah. But the, the, the sad thing about that is, as far as we can, I, I think it might be an age thing, um, in as much as that we've both become obsessed with black beers, porters, yeah. and stouts. Yeah. And I could sit in front of a fire at any time of year with one of these. Um, but this is, for a homebrew, I know. astonishing. Well, all, all, <clears throat> each year... The last couple of years, I've, I've I've given a selection of beers for the family members, the male family members, for the the Christmas. Uh, this year, yeah, they're in for a treat. <laughs> Getting these as well, are they? They get one of these: a black IPA, a stout, and the American IPA I brewed for the the, the, the guide right. to brewing thing. Right. Okay. Uh. But I've called this the uh, up uh, there. It's a fireside porter. I've called it. Nice, nice call. Cool. Because it just conjures up that that scene. Oh, hello. Um, one of your finest brain brews, I reckon. Yeah, I, I'm quite obs obsessed with this one. Uh, yeah. I'll put the recipes below, the recipe I did, and I'll link to David Heath's uh, guide as well. Great idea. Uh, yeah, because that but man is... It's got, as you... The coffee dissipates as you go down, and it gets more and more chocolatey, and it's the most deepest, darkest chocolate flavour. Oh, yeah. It's wonderful. And it is. And it's gorgeous. And do you know what, you people? I'm sorry. You're never going to taste it. You um, will. You just got to make it yourself. Make it yourself, absolutely. Yeah, and it's worth uh, grain brewing just to create just this. That. Yeah. And actually, I found your dark beers you are far more forgiving when you're brewing. They are. I found that with kits. So yeah, uh, same with kits. But yeah, I, yeah. I found with the grain brews, the dark ones. They come out, it doesn't matter what you do, they'll come out good. Mm. Well, I'm inspired. I, I genuinely am. Um, right, I'm nearly done. Are you? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll, in fact, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite squiffy, actually, because this are, is you're... our second recording tonight. Yeah. Uh, and I... and you've, you've not been a well bunny, have you? No, no, and this is... Not helping my my no. This is medicinal port. This is good yeah. colds. Medicinal port. Uh. So, anyway, till next time. Thank you. And good night.
Good night.